Alrighty then, a little less sick and ready to make some spaceships. Now let's see what you good folks want to build. Small stealth fighter like the Sabre. Mm -hmm, right, yeah, smallish triangle. Polaris, yeah, nice. Big triangle. Redeemer, two hinge triangles. You guys really like the one shape that Starfield just doesn't do, huh? I guess we're doing the Perseus. Hello and welcome back to the Philly and Plays YouTube channel. After a great many scrap designs, I finally came up with something that hopefully at least resembles Star Citizen's RSI Perseus in spirit, if not in actual geometry. The build should cost around 570,000 credits. As always, we're going to start the build at one of our outpost ship builders so that you have access to 90% of the parts in the game. Let's get started. Begin with a Hope 4 landing bay with 4 Acculander 11s and Deimos braking engines. You can add some weapon mounts with your preferred missiles here as well. Now add an Apollo GV300 grav drive with an SF40 sheared flow reactor to the rear. Place two 500 T helium tanks on either side. Finish up the back by adding two Deimos hull alphas with 10 T hauler cargo holes underneath. You can also accent these with portholes. To begin the engines, you're going to sandwich an SAE 5660 engine in between three Deimos hull alphas. Place two Stroud braking engines on the top and bottom with a Deimos braking engine in the middle. Accent the assembly with Deimos wing echoes, a Deimos spine on top, and portholes on the rear. Slap on a Deimos 220 Charlie Bravo landing gear and attach the whole assembly to the main body. Repeat for the other side. For the main body, we're going to line up three 2x1 halves of your choice with a single 3x1 half. Add Stroud nose cap Charlies to the sides along with Deimos wing alphas. Attach two Nova radiators at the rear with Nova wings on each and a Nova weapon mount at the fore. You can accent the bottom with additional portholes and add a couple turrets as well. For the top deck of the ship, connect a 2x1 and 3x1 half of your choice. Add a Deimos hull alpha and Deimos cowling aft to the rear. Flank this with two SA-4330 engines. Next, add two 1x1 halves of your choice and some Stroud 3LA cowling. Flank these with Deimos bumpers and wing alphas. Add Stroud cap alphas to the front sides and Nova 2L cowling to the fore. To make the Perseus's main gun, we're going to add Nova 1L cowling to the top with your choice of turrets. I also added a missile launcher behind it, just because. Accent the top with additional portholes. Attach this deck to the main body. Now to maximize engine usage, we're going to tag on an additional Amun 7 engine underneath the Deimos aft cowling. To finish the build, connect two Stroud 1x1 companionways, add a docker, Magellan C1 cockpit, four Deimos wingport echoes on each side, a 100cm ballast shielded cargo hold, shield, and turret. Connect this assembly to the main hull, and your build is complete. With any luck, those of you that actually own a Star Citizen Perseus won't have to wait too long after the Polaris' release to finally get it. If you know, you know. If you're thinking of trying out Star Citizen for the first time, 
feel free to use my promo code at account creation to get some extra goodies. I hope you good folks enjoy this build. Leave a thumbs up if you did, don't if you didn't. Be sure to let me know what you think and subscribe for more content. Stay tuned for future videos as I will be announcing some benchmark giveaways for the channel in the near future. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you around the verse.